During the Gallipoli campaign, much focus in the Irish element have been based on the Royal Dublin Fusiliers landing at V Beach, the 10th Irish Division landing at Suvla Bay. But many people forget that as an island nation, Ireland had sailors, fishermen who were used to sail the seas around Ireland and as such were part, could become part of the Royal Navy or the Royal Navy Volunteer Reserve. Many Irishmen served at sea during the Gallipoli campaign from admirals down to basic ordinary seamen both uh, above the water and below water. One particular story which is poignant in an Irish basis would be HMS Goliath. On the 13th of May 1915 she was lying off the coast of Gallipoli and she was prepared to take part in bombarding the coast. A Turkish gunboat had slipped out of the Dardanelles Straits and passed the Allied naval cordon. She approached the HMS Goliath and fired three torpedoes. Three torpedoes hit and the ship is recorded sunk within seven minutes. Of a crew of approximately 650, 570 men of all ranks died. But the Irish story is a lot more poignant. Approximately 85 Irish men died on the ship when she was torpedoed. 85 men sounds a small amount in the overall context of the losses of the Gallipoli campaign. But when you look deeper, you find two sets of brothers, the Jones brothers from Belfast and the Flynn brothers from County Waterford. But even more poignant would be the approximate 12 men from a small village in Coona, County Limerick. These men were all members of the Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve. Their civilian life on the 1911 census shows them as fishermen and they were taken on board the, or the Goliath around August 1914, September 1914 as the war started. In the papers at the time, all the losses of those 12 men was a simple footnote from the Admiralty saying that the Admiralty acknowledges the loss of the HMS Goliath on the 13th of May and that the village of Kuna had lost 12 men specifically further information will follow. The names of these men are almost forgotten now but they show the input that the Irish had during the Gallipoli campaign. All aspects of the campaign were experienced by the Irish land, sea and air. <laughs>